Hey, what's going on guys? Just pulling up to the park here and I'm stoked because I have a Christmas complete. Well, almost. The best version of a Christmas complete, at least I think so, because it's a new board, new wheels, new bearings, new axle nuts, which is a little treat, but on trucks that are kind of broken in and I'm already used to. To me, that's a perfect setup because like, although new trucks are nice, nice to have, it can be annoying sometimes to break in new trucks. Um, but yeah, that being said, I'm at the local park. I'm gonna pull up, see what friends are here, and get some clips and uh, talk about the board um, and if I like it. If you guys missed it, I made a video, previous video, uh, of me setting up the board and kind of going into the di dimensions and different features of the board. So yeah, uh, let's go skate and see if I like it. Let's hear that backside flip. <laughs> the no pop. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Myra wasn't happy with it. Holy shit. That was perfect. <laughs> that was really good. My God. Yeah, Jimmy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Damn, dude. Woo! Woo! That was good. You good? <laughs> he shoulder checked the concrete. <laughs> One more. All right. Dude, that counts. Oh, that is exactly how I don't want to fall. Fuck, you all right? Yeah. Shoulders good? Yeah. Anderson dislocated his shoulder like maybe three weeks ago now, so. Kind of scary to see. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no! God damn! Um, I forget what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, yeah, yeah. So I always gotta remember like setting up a new board, especially with these types of graphics. It's like super slippery, so I gotta take that consideration. When you're jumping on a rail or like a ledge to put your full weight into it, because chances are it's gonna feel like the ledge is super waxed. Some kid just like flew off the end of the quarter pipe on the other side. Uh, but yeah, let's keep warming up. Um, get some tricks. Let's see a tray flip. Yeah, all right. Ooh. That was good. <laughs> Buttery. Oh. 
Yeah. Wow, first try. So as I was mentioned in my previous video that this board doesn't have like many like fingers of flat and it actually, you can really tell from manuals. It like, it's super easy to like kind of tilt backwards. You have to put like barely any effort to get into a manual. So it's something to like adjust for cause it does want to shift you back quite easily. Uh, but once you get used to it, it's actually really nice. Yeah. Silly trek incoming. Yeah, that Dude, was sick. That felt good. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it started raining outside, so we're cutting the session short. But I gotta say, I really like that board. And I think a reason why is that it's essentially the same manufacturer. So my previous board that I've been skating is a BBS, and I've been skating the same shape for, um, I'd say, a couple of years now on the menu shape. Um, the only key difference with this new board is that it's an 825, so slightly um, narrower board and it's 14.25 inch wheelbase, like I mentioned. So just slightly shorter wheelbase, slightly um, narrower board. So to me, it wasn't really a big um, change as far as like getting used to the board. So right away, like I got kickflip first try, three flip first try, all my like basics um, came very fast and easy. And um, yeah, I'm excited to get out there again. It's supposed to be super nice all week next week. So I'm hoping to get out there and uh, do some street skating. So stay tuned for some street skating because I'm sure just like uh, I know I am tired of skating the same park over and over again. I'm excited to get out there and, and uh, grind some crusty ledges. So uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching guys. I uh, appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.